It's so different to anything we've seen in the game before. <laughs> it's so good. One thing I really like about this ship, I have to say, is the textures. I saw the video, and, like, some of the textures, like, this marble effect. I don't know if it's marble, but, like, marble-looking effect. Uh, and some of the liveries and stuff look so cool. There's, like, text. Hang on. Let's go into this camera view here. And we'll get onto, like, how this thing flies in a minute, but... Yeah, I think there's, like, actual writing on some of these. I can't actually see it at the moment. Maybe it's not on this one. Uh, where's the... Oh, here we go. This is... I don't know what this means. Oh. <laughs> Just kept <laughs> walking into it. But, um, I love that. Like, it's embossed in the wing. That's so cool. Honestly, this ship is something else. It, like, hits different. I, like, I really want to see more of this style. The reason why I want to see more of it is, I don't know if you've noticed, chat, but at the top there, you can see the glass at the very tippy top. That's because this ship actually faces upwards. So it's kind of like your conventional modern day spacecraft where it points up to the ceiling. It's going to be interesting in this hangar because we're actually going out in that direction. But that's pretty cool. We've got three size... Three, so Panther repeaters. If you play the game at all, you'll know what that is. But it's a pretty heavy, like, it hits pretty hard. Especially for a starship. I think that's pretty powerful. Um, and then you've got, I believe it's six uh, SCU cargo. So it's meant to be a bit of a cargo hauler. Um, which is kind of cool. So, like, the cargo sits in these kind of grav bays. Which is kind of neat. And it all moves. And the animations, it's kind of ridiculous. So let's go inside. And see what we've got here. Uh, I am so excited. Look, look at the buttons. Freaking love it. And this this ship, by the way, is all about animation. So <laughs> it's gonna. There are sections of this ship that I don't understand why they spent so much time in, and I kind of love it for it. So we've got yeah, the manufacturer of Gatak kind of uses this technology, which is all like anti grav technology. It's kind of cool. Got a nice little bronze lip on the stairs there. It's classy, not gonna lie. So, the special source with this ship, as you can, I guess you can kind of see. So this is the, uh, where is the elevator? Here it is. So you can see here we've got elevator, and because it's like an alien ship, we've got like alien script here. And then we've got cockpit, cabin, airlock. So down here is like your engineering bay, I believe. I think this, oh, this is cool, I saw this in the video. Press this. Oh my word, that is some sweet animation. Let's see that again. Sorry, I get really nerdy about this stuff. Let me know if you like me and just love this cool animations. Like even the noises are cool. So yeah, you've got your components there. So when stuff breaks, you can now come down here, fix it. You've got your shield generators there, for example. I believe that's power? I don't know, I'm not that good at this game. And then I'm not sure what this is. More components, I believe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and then we've got the button for the door. Oh man, that animation's so good. I thought that was a draw there. Oh man, I could listen to that all day. Oh, so good. Maybe it's, ah, here, this is what I was talking about. Oh, it's so good. So this, my friends, is a weapon rack. So you put your weapons here. So you've got one there, one there. Then you've got pistols and tools. In fact, hang on. I could probably grab myself a weapon. Hang on. I don't know if I can do this here, actually. Because we're in an arms this zone. No! And then we've got a suit locker, which has some really nice detailing on it. Really cool. But yeah, overall, <laughs> this is the first level. And I'm already blown away. It's very cool. I can't believe this is a start ship as well. Like, what? What's that? Nice. And then button for this one's down here. It's just filled with animation. But yeah, you'll notice there's like rock. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Well, like this kind of rock texture kind of feels a little bit cave-like. But then it's got like a purple and bronze hue. It's freaking cool, man. All right, let's go to the cabin. So this is where you can live in the ship. So not all starships have a bed. So you can lay down. Let's have a little test of this, actually. What does this button do, actually? 
I pressed it. Oh, storage. Sweet. Okay, cool. That's smart to have it under the bed, actually. <laughs> you got the nice Gatak logo there. And then, oh, cozy. You got some rock vibes going on. I just love the materials of the ship. I think the, they've nailed the materials, like the flooring, the little LED strip underneath the glass, it looks like. It's clean look, you know? And then, I'm not sure what this is. What is this? Hang on, let's press the button. Is it a seat? It is a seat. And what's this? I have no idea. Is it just like a table for ornaments? That's kind of cool. I don't know. <laughs> if the developer or somebody who knows can tell me what this platform here is, I think it, I'm pretty sure it's just like a table, which makes sense. And then we've got a little window. You can see my little, my little guards down there. Hello, guys. Um, and then, oh man, pilot seat is going to blow your mind. And then we've got, this is what I was talking about earlier, the most elaborate, ridiculous bathroom I think I've ever seen in my life. Like, look at the door animation, chat. It's silly good, stupid good. It's just the little details in Star Citizen that make it what it is and why I love it. But, mate, if I ever build my own house, I'm having a door like that. That's freaking cool. So, it comes with a toothbrush. Good to know. Um, and then we've got some... I don't know what this is. I know how a human would use it. I'm not sure how an alien would use it. And I don't really want to find out. That's all I know. Apparently, that has an actual use for certain functions that is not <laughs> okay for YouTube. Anyway... Um, so we've got a shower here, which is really cool. And then, this is what just blows my mind. The most insane toilet animation of any video game ever. Like, what? The toilet roll holder goes in and turns round. That's so unnecessary. <laughs> like, the aliens are freaking flexing on us humans. That's all i got to say. They're like, yeah, humans need, like, a freaking bit of toilet roll. Don't worry. We got some gravity tech for you. It's pretty cool. Not going to lie. Just going to keep pressing the button, honestly. <laughs> Guy spends three minutes looking at a toilet is the title of this video. Um, yeah, so that just totally blew me away. And then, I haven't, I haven't done this yet, but this is... Oh my word. This is cool. Are you ready for this? We go into the cop here. And then we're presented. I don't know what that means. Someone tell me in the comment section. We turn around and we've got. Look at this. They've nailed the lighting. It looks like a freaking. They said like an altar in the video. Um, and I absolutely agree. It's kind of got that kind of cathedral sort of look to it. I don't even know how. It's just. I think it's the way like all the angles are pointed towards the chair. It just makes it look really important. Oh, what's this? Oh, more compartments. Sweet. I don't know what this is for. Uh, maybe it's for future stuff. I don't know. If I could read script or whatever this is called, I don't know what... There's more angles, more stuff. Oh, there's more on this side. This ship just keeps giving, doesn't it? Yeah, there we go. Some more future update stuff, life support system, I imagine, things like that. That's kind of cool. Alright, let's see the piece de resistance. I sit in the chair. I love the materials of this chair. The only thing I would say about this chair, guys, is sitting on that would get cold. If this is metal, which I assume it is, I'd get a cold bum. So, my back would be fine. I just think... <laughs> yeah? Am I right? I'm right. I know I'm right. I wouldn't say it if I was wrong. Right, let's go. Enter pilot seat. Look at this. Oh my word. <laughs> what? And there's the ceiling. Absolutely blowing my mind. So, yeah, we've got a bit of a unique control system. We've got floating... But let's turn the ship on. There we go. If I go into third person here... Oh my word. So the third person camera is a little bit weird. Oh, look at it. Madness. So I'm... <laughs> oh, because the third person camera is obviously set up for the way you're facing. Obviously, it's a bit weird right now. 
That's crazy. And we're not even done yet with the animations, chat, but it's like so unique. No other ship in Star Citizen does this. It's crazy. Right. <laughs> um, so I'm a bit confused how this works. Uh, let's open the door. You are clear to launch. Good to know. So normally I would press the space bar to elevate. I'm not sure that does the right thing. I'm going to press it anyway. No, because we're facing that way. So I think I need to thrust forwards. Oh my. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Right, so I thrusted forward, and now I tilt that way? Oh, what? That's going to take some getting used to. Oh my, look at that. <laughs> that looks so good. It's probably one of the best starships you can get, for sure. It does so much. Oh my word. Actually, you know what we should press? We should press the... Um... Oh my word, the landing gear. So this is his natural flying position here. I don't even know if I fit out the doors. But that's crazy. Let's watch that from the third person. Oh my. Amazing. Like the noises sound so alien. So remember those cargo holders we saw? So they actually move the cargo when the landing gear changes. That is crazy cool. There are, also, I'll say, there are some custom paint jobs, which I'll show you at the end of the video. Uh, let's try and get out of this hangar here. And uh, see how we get on. Hang on, let me just slow down a bit. Oh, no. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, my word, it's a tight fit. Oh, my word, a guy's just flying past, that's cool. Yeah, you really have to watch your entrance. Let's get out of here. So, what I want to do before I go anywhere... Oh, my word, that's so neat. Thank you. And please visit again. Is, because uh, it's nighttime right now, I'm actually going to go back and try and land. Because it's a completely different experience to anything we've seen before. Okay, so... Oh, man, the little lighting going on in the UI, that looks really cool. So yeah, before we go and do anything, I want to load up with cargo, I want to do some combat, there's loads of things I want. I think someone just crashed, I thought it was me for a, <laughs> for a split second, I totally just... I might need to go use that space toilet. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to do some battles with it, there's a few things I want to do. But first of all, I've got to see if I can nail the landing here. So it says collision alert, but I think I'll be okay. Right. Lights off, we don't need them. And then, this is the weird thing, so I'm not going to go into third person view, because I want to see if I can do it. Oh, that's so weird! Um, so go to 90, and then... Oh, dude, that's kind of cool! Ah, uh, yes. I mean, it's very impractical for this type of hangar in comparison, but immersion is something else. Let's go back down here. Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna wait for daytime and then we're gonna take off. <laughs> that doesn't stop being cool. Oh my word, okay. Uh, right, let me out, please. To launch. Now, now that I've proven my skills, I get to do this in third person. Uh, that way. <laughs> Ooh. Oh man, this is weird. The camera angle is all different. Am I the right way up? Yes. Okay. Wait. <laughs> that was weird. I was like, hang on a minute. That man's walking on the ceiling. Not anymore. All right. He easy does it now. It's still nighttime. I gave up. If you, if you didn't notice. Um, what we'll do is we'll just head out here. Uh, not much in terms of like heads up displays. One thing I will say, I'm looking for negative because, you know, don't want to be overly positive, but you do have like lots of controls here and lots of controls here, but you've only got two heads up displays, so you don't have your powers or anything like that or your power distribution or, you know, there's some things you're missing, right? Um, but yeah. Man, it sounds crazy. 
Whoa, what? I mean, it's n I know we saw it in the hangar, but it's nothing compared to actually seeing it out here. I was a little worried, like, the orientation would screw up the controls or something weird like that, but it seems fine. But in, <laughs> but in terms of, like, how this ship looks, like, oh, it's, it's crazy. It is kind of crazy. So one thing they did actually say in the video is uh, it's got 24 maneuvering thrusters, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I've said that right. Uh, which seems like a lot. But I'm okay with it. <laughs> so yeah, a couple of things I really like about the ship. Number one, visibility seems really good. Um, seems actually quite nice to fly as well. I mean, I'll test it out in a little bit when we... Oh yeah, whoa. Really good, like, good thrusters. You wouldn't catch me doing that in a lot of ships, let me tell you. Absolutely insane firepower as well. <laughs> Yeah, damn. Microtech is so pretty, though, isn't it? Holy. But we're not here to talk about Microtech. We're here to talk about the beautiful ship. And it flies pretty well in atmosphere. I thought it would absolutely fly like... I mean, I don't know what. Like an alien ship. <laughs> but it flies really well, I have to say. It's quite a nice, easy ship to fly. I'm kind of just pointing in the direction and it's doing it. And it's really not that punishing. Yeah, I don't know, that's cool. Obviously, you do have to bear in mind you've got pretty big wings. So don't go <laughs> low flying or anything, but... Seems really nice. Oh, should we try and land? This is a really good spot to land, actually. Right, landing gear. This is just such a weird thing. Right, so we point up to the sky. Go to 90. That's your vertical. And then reverse? Nice and slow. 500 meters from the floor. 400 meters from the floor. So you're looking at your altitude meter. Collision alert. That's fine. Oh, okay. So 460. <laughs> okay. The elevator is really quick as well. I was a bit worried, I'll be honest, about... Because it had three floors and an elevator. I was kind of worried it would be a little bit fiddly to get in and out of. But it seems absolutely fine. Oh my word, look at this. Beautiful Microtech and it's oh never look never get a bad screenshot, Microtech. You really don't. That looks <laughs> seriously cool. But yeah, really cool textures. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I don't even have like the highest graphics on, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I am getting an upgraded PC imminently. So if you want to make sure. You don't miss all of that. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited about it. It's going to be an absolute monster of a PC. It's going to go perfectly for my videos. Anyway, which one was the weapons? I believe it was this one? Yeah. Okay, so if I get out my weapon here, I can place that in there. Oh, that looks cool. And then you've... So these are like gravity... Suckers. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. I'm sorry. Um, and then we've got... How oh, they go in here? I guess you put tools or something in there or grenades. Oh, that's cool. I thought they kind of would lay flat, but it's like that. Nice. Right. Let's go and get some cargo. But the honestly, just the really cool thing about this ship... Yeah, that's really fast. It's just the fact that... When you take off, it's a vertical takeoff, and there's something really neat about that. I'll never get tired of that animation, by the way. Oh, so good. <laughs> right, engine's on. Full speed. Boost. We've taken off, chat! Holy, that was quick. I didn't even get to say goodbye. <laughs> All right, coming down the land here is absolutely pitch black. Uh, I can barely see the ground. <laughs> Luckily, they have updated the lights uh, for all the ships, I think, uh, which is really cool because that was really needed. I can see a lot more now. It seems a lot better at, like, helping me with visibility. Uh, anyway, so landing gear. This is what we'd have to do. And then... 
I think, where do we want to go for our... Let's just land on the big pad. Oh, it's over there. All right, okay. And then... <laughs> okay. <laughs> they need to fix the altitude thing, because that says 1,200 meters, and then previously it was like 400. Uh, good job I go in slow. I feel like it could have carried more, right? But also, like physically it could have carried more. But at the same, like, time, at the same time, I should say, I don't really think it should carry more, like, <laughs> otherwise it would literally be just overpowered. Um, right, location, Gatak Sulin, and then we're going to buy, just buy some waste. <laughs> I don't want to spend real money. There we go. So we've just bought six SCU of waste. Nice. Let's get out of here. Have a look. See what it looks like on the ship. Also, I want to see the animation of the cargo when we take off. Oh, yeah. Weird. So, your gravity thing. Oh, traversal detachment. There we go. Oh, that's cool. And then it folds back into there. Obviously, you have the amazing kind of... Um, Thing where it will sort of lock it into place for you. I swear they've changed how this beam looks, by the way. Absolutely love the new look for it. Whoever did that, that looks a lot more realistic. If that's, if you can believe it. There we go, put that on. So yeah, you've got two there, two there, and two there. So six, right? <laughs> that's maths. But I feel like, I don't know, could they have added a third? Just change the angle of it slightly, maybe. But then the silhouette might have been a little bit different. I can see why they've done two on each. Man, I love the lighting though. Like the little touches of like the red orb glow. It's almost like it's organic. It's almost glowing. And you get these kind of really nice gaps where the light comes through. I love that, man. Did a great job. All right, let's step on board. And let's see some cool animations. By the way, while we're taking off here, I will say, if uh, you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe because IAE is going to be all week and I'm going to be making videos every day showing off the new show floor, talking about it, showing off the new ships and stuff. So, yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Oh, my word. Wow, that lighting is cool. Right, let's press the uh, button where we change stance here. What? It moves the cargo. I guess actually looking at it, you couldn't have added more. Because it the way it goes into that gap there and the thrusters are there, so that actually does make sense. I could totally see a not a caterpillar, but like a ship where it moves it like a tail. Like cargo as a tail. Can you imagine that? And this is like the head of it. <laughs> Any CIG folks watching, give me my tail weird alien ship for cargo. That would be sick. <laughs> okay, so this is a little bit different. <laughs> I'm doing the 890 jump mission, which if you've never seen it before, you have to infiltrate a taken over 890 jump capital ship, which is really cool. Um, I'm not really looking to do the full mission, um, but I am looking for the enemies to pop up because I am like struggling to get the... Uh, the enemy, like, a normal bounty mission, but here we go. It, this does come with a couple uh, targets for us to take on, so that's nice. Right, they're going to be a bit sleepy probably, but I just want to see the damage. What's this? A glaive? All right, let's do it. Um, oh, my goodness. My keybinds are all different. What? Why is my targeting? All right, okay. They've changed the keybinds. Now you tell me. Gimbaled? Not gimbaled. All right, good to know. Right, here we go. Oh my word, that is already taken off his shields. Oh my word, this is cool. Like, hello? Damage? Hi da whoa! Hi damage. Um, next target. Got a gladius here. This will be interesting. 
So you could have three size twos gimbaled, right? Or you can rock three size threes. Look at the damage, chat. Are you witnessing that? Of course you are. You're watching the video. Oh my word, that looked cool. That is awesome. <laughs> Got him. Right, nice. Salvage. Also, subscribe because I've got videos coming up where we'll be able to munch all that, which is going to be sweet. First impressions of this ship, my friends. It is a bargain. Uh, genuinely, I think this is probably one of Star Citizen's better ships to buy. Value-wise, it has a bit of cargo space. Great in a battle. Preliminary results, obviously. And uh, it's really forgiving to fly. So I think there's a lot of value in owning a ship like this. Um, the only thing I'll say is you've got to be okay with the ship kind of uh, requiring you to land in a certain way. Wait, where is the entrance? It's over here, isn't it? Um, it's pretty unforgiving in that regard. So you've got to like be okay with doing this. Probably one of my favorite offerings from uh, CIG in quite a while. And that's saying a lot because I don't think I've disliked anything. But as a whole, <laughs> oh man, it's just cool. <laughs> it's just so different. And that's why I love it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.